So, what is Databricks? So, you can see the logo here of Databricks. So, now Databricks is called as a data and AI company, which has more than 5,000 plus clients, or you can call customers who are using Databricks. So, with the origins of academia and the open source community, Databricks was founded in 2013 itself. So, if you remember the dates again, when uh, Spark was started doing work in 2009 and they have done uh, like release the latest versions of uh, Spark, then at the same or the similar year, they have started this Databricks and the original creators of Databricks were the original creators of Spark, like Mateya Zaharia and few of those computer scientists who have created, they only started this Databricks. Later on, they have built the data lake. So we are spending almost uh, two hours on what is Delta Lake and MLflow for machine learning algorithms. So uh, today, more than 5,000 organizations worldwide rely on Databricks to enable the massive scale data engineering, collaborative data science, and full lifecycle machine learning and some of the business analytics. So you take any data related problem or data related workload. It can be a data science, it can be a data engineering, it can be a data analyst. All together can be work with the help of Databricks. So actually this statistic shows that this was around 2020 or 21, but now there are more than 6,000 plus organizations that are currently relying on Databricks. So let us see on uh, discovering the Databricks. The original creators of this Spark or Apache Spark established this Databricks. So uh, what I personally feel like they have started building this Spark on top of Hadoop and they have donated to the Apache Spark and they wanted to run this Spark on their own native tool or no own native framework. So they have built Databricks and now Databricks is a company. They have kept it with them. They have not donated it to anyone. So you can call Databricks as it is used to solve the world's toughest data problem. So you take any world's toughest data problem, Databricks is here to solve it. So Databricks was launched as a Spark based unified. So actually Databricks sits on top of Spark only. So Spark based unified data analytics platform in the cloud. So it is all cloud based. Let us see the introduction to Databricks. So Databricks was launched as a Spark based unified data analytics platform in the cloud. So Databricks provide a collaborative platform where your data science, data engineering and data analyst people come together and work collaboratively. It has revolutionized the existing data lakes. Now you should know what is data lakes. So they have changed completely the data lake and they have built one lake house architecture, lake house architecture on your existing data lakes. So on top of your data lakes, they have built a new lake house architecture that is called as a Delta Lake. So we will be talking about what Delta Lake. So this Delta Lake is also the uh, creators of the original Spark, like who have created the Spark, they only created this Databricks, then later on Delta Lake. So they have named it as a Lake House architecture. So we will be talking in detail about all these new terms. First, we'll try to understand what is Data Lake and what was the limitation of the Data Lake. So they have built this uh, Delta Lake. Okay, so we will talk about that. So you take any industry that uses data that has something to do with Databricks. So it can be a data engineer, or can be they can be a data scientist, data analyst, business intelligence analyst, anyone that they have to do something with the Databricks. So this is the same image. So we call it as one stop solution for everything about data is your Databricks. So actually this image you can relate like on top of the spark they have built a Databricks 
so spark databricks love spark so the original creators of the spark are the same of the databricks also so let us see how your databricks website looks like and how you can easily sign up for the databricks okay so you can go to google okay let me show you one more slide before that so you can work with these languages with databricks you can use either python r scala and sql also they do not have a support for java so for that you have scala but we will be using most of the time python so pyspark in uh, databricks okay and obviously we are going to talk about cloud because all this clusters and whatever we are talking is all on the cloud okay and databricks with will come with one of the cloud provider if you want to use databricks so you need to choose one of the cloud provider so they have a type with the top cloud providers in the market like aws amazon's web service and you can use databricks with the microsoft's azure and you can also use databricks with google cloud platform and they have alibaba cloud also uh, databricks you can use with alibaba cloud but we will be using with microsoft's azure okay so let me show you the documentation or the website of databricks so you can go to google just write databricks dot com so now you can see that they have the best data warehouse is the lake house so it unifies all your data analytics and ai on one platform so i actually personally love this uh, gif a simple gif it will clearly say you what you mean by lake house so a data warehousing and the data lake house combining both gives you a lake house so not to worry we will discuss more about what is data lake what is lake cows architecture in detail and you can see data driven organizations choosing the lake cows and what you can do with databricks so you can create a streamline your data ingestion and management you can automate automate and reliable etl so you can create a beautiful dashboards also dashboards by using a simple sql queries that you will be surprised to see that we can create a dashboard you can create a beautiful maps or charts by using a sql queries okay you don't need any bi tool for that or you can use your uh, ml entire life cycle also by using the databricks okay so you can see 12 x of better perform uh, better pricing per performance and exa byte of data is processed every day so let me just uh, show you few more things when it comes to platform yeah so it so yeah i wanted to show you this image data warehousing and data lake club together will give you a lake house so these are the original creators like who has developed spark they only created the databricks on top of databricks they have the delta lake so this is the symbol of delta lake and they have later on built the ml flow also so it operates in a multi cloud so uh, three of the tech giants in the cloud like aws microsoft and google and you can bring all data people together like data engineering can use databricks databricks sql uh, data analyst can use databricks and machine learning people also can use databricks okay so if you want to try it for free so i want everyone guys to do it with me only so you can just click on try databricks so once you click on this try databricks you will get a new window yeah so you will get a new window here and Uh, it is asking you to if you want to create a database account for free so you need to choose any of this uh, cloud provider to start with so i'll just tell you how to start with absolutely free so databricks comes with the community edition so that is providing you uh, like a free software where you can use databricks in the cloud 
without paying anything so you put your name i want you to do with me only so you give your last name you can give any company name so you can give your own name anything like that and your personal email address you can give your personal email address or your company's email address also no worries you can give your title phone number and you can just click on get started so once you click on get started i'll provide this link to you here you need to be very careful guys so choose a cloud provider it is asking you to choose a cloud provider you do not click on any of this suppose if you are clicking on any of this you will be redirected to that cloud provider so you will set up an account with aws databricks or azure databricks or google cloud databricks but actually we want a community edition so just scroll down a bit and here with a very small font size they have given a link that is get started with community edition so you need to click on this to get started once you click on this you get a weird uh, puzzles you can see i don't know like you get a, a weird puzzles so you need to search for this uh, lobsters and you solve the puzzle once you solve the puzzle you will get a link on your email address so once you get a link you can set up a password and you can open this databricks community sign up S sign up is done then you can sign in so you can you will be redirected to database community edition or i'll just provide you this link in the chat here so you can click on this and you can sign up also directly here so sign up as the steps i told you once you sign up then you get this window so you just put your personal email address and then start signing up okay 